Hey everyone, and welcome back to another custom challenge run on the Binding of Isaac. I totally realized that uh, somehow music had gotten turned off uh, during the last video, but uh, I, I figured it out, so it's back. Uh, anyway, today we have another challenge run from Gablam1. This one's called Speed Cat. I have 14 of the large odd mushrooms, so I'm very strong. I gave myself Dead Cat after 8 of them, so I only got 6 of the health ups. And uh, I also have two guppies' tails. I'm Kane, so I have the eye patch because I mean, come on, it's a beast cat and, a, and an eye patch. And I have speedball with two times movement speed checked in uh, Cheat Engine. So I have to take the first spacebar item I see, and I cannot take no. I can't take uh, Doctor Fetus, Epic Fetus. I'm assuming that includes. Um, Mom's Knife and Brimstone because it says etc. And I can't take deals with the devil. Goal is to get to Blue Babby. I'm super fast. Um, so really, the one thing I fear right now is... Uh, what do I fear right now? Not having enough health. Because, I mean, pretty clearly I have one health. Yeah, I have seven, but if I can't make use of it... Tough times. The nice thing here... I also have a large head, and this is going to be tricky. Range up is uh, good because, uh, you know, that's something that I do need at some point. Uh, also, another thing is uh, my flies are going to be amazing because I have uh, very high damage, so they are going to do very high damage. Able, I actually hate enough to skip. I'm not even joking. My least favorite familiar, far and away, absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be easy. This boss fight, at least. Uh, yeah, Abel would mirror us, and it's really annoying, and causes me more pain than help. So, I haven't found a spacebar item yet. We got another HP up, that's a uh, health up. Of course we have nine lives, but ideally, we're not going to lose the first one. And I'm not too worried about any enemy that I can imagine coming up. I can also fly as Guppy, of course. But yeah, I'm not worried about anything because I have very high damage with very high damage flies. I want this to be full health, man. Just give me full health. Range up again. So one of those is a range down. I do want poison bombs, so that's good. I mean, I don't like... I wouldn't have been like, this is the item I want to see in the item room. But I, I do like having them. It gives me five bombs and also imbues them with poison damage. So uh, they'll do some damage over time to anything in their blast radius, of course. By the way, we have a big head, so it's hard to tell where my body is, so it's hard to pick stuff up. That's why this takes a little bit longer. Yeah, you can handle that. I'll pop the chest, because why not? And it was worth it. I'm just really hoping that we get a good spacebar item as our first one. Larry Jr. is going to be super duper easy. Come on. Come on. I'm super duper fast, that's for sure. Ah, oh, that didn't kill him. Whatever, he's dead now. Uh, Squeezy is tears up and two soul hearts. I'm not going to take the deal with the devil, but I'm going to go in. I can't even see the items. And then come out. Guppy's head was in there. But because I can't take deals with the devil, that I'm not counting that as my first spacebar item seen. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to do that so that uh, we had a higher chance of an angel room. I am not taking that. No way, no how. Do I want more speed that then gets doubled? Not even a little bit. Not even once. I like how we one-shot these guys. Two more keys, that's great. Still haven't found a spacebar item, which is, uh, you know, kind of okay. I just passed up a few items. I'm getting way better about that. I didn't used to pass up items. I used to be like, well, it gave me this, it's passive, and I'll take it. But then I'm like, no, nah, this this actually sucks to have. I don't want this. So, uh, you know, I, I just started being that way. I should have gone in the curse room, really, but oh well. This run, I mean, the goal is beating Blue Babby. Baby, Babby, whichever you prefer. I don't think that's going to be even a little bit of a problem. I mean, I can't get any speed downs. Little Chad, it wouldn't be a run without you. Little Chad. Yeah, he's gonna drop a half red heart every 
after every two rooms. <sighs> so we still haven't found a spacebar item. I'm hoping that we like go to the shop and find the candle. And once we have 15 cents, that would be like optimal. Oh, a golden key. That's really good. Uh, but I will, I will play this beggar five times because I only have five cents. Ah, oh, health up. That's excellent. I'm really not even a little bit worried about uh, the way this run is going to go. We're almost back to full health. We've got, you know, lots of good stuff going for us. Oh, God. Ah, uh, why not? Well, that's one reason. Certainly wasn't very good. That's for sure. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going for us. We're almost back to full health. I don't see us losing. Like, I don't see us getting back down to low health, really. Because we're so ridiculously overpowered. Guess I'll look for the secret room now. Oh, uh, what do we got? Okay, some money. More money. If the secret room has, a uh, nine cents, eight cents even. <sighs> then we'll go to the shop where we'll hopefully, uh, pick up not the compass, the, the the candle. The candle would be amazing, even though we don't really need it at all. Like, we don't need a space bar item, because we're just mad overpowered right now. Now eh, let's just go see if there's a ten, or a seven cent item. Watch it be the notched axe. Seven cents. No, but I'll take the soul heart, because why not? Anyway, super easy run, but I do like being guppy with uh, popped out eyes because that's just how how I look. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go into the curse room because it's only going to cost me on the way out. What is this? I know this. No, I don't. Tears up. That's awesome. So we got two tears up for half of a soul heart. I think that's worth it. So now we're firing super quickly. We're fighting uh, the hollow, which is just diagonal Larry Jr. Super duper easy as well. Chargers, not not too challenging. Oh my god, Jesus Juice, that multiplies our damage by 1.5. Tinted Rock, and we look pretty crazy. Tinted Rock has two soul hearts. We are in the clear. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. Uh, still haven't found a spacebar item, but what can I say? Uh, Lust, gonna go down easily. Yeah, Jesus Juice, really, really great. Uh, yeah, the Poison Touch with the Virus is going to make it so that if we uh, come into contact with an enemy, we do significant damage to them and also poison them, doing uh, pretty good damage over time. I like this run. It's so easy. I'm fast enough to get stuck in the right wall, of course, but, uh, you know, you can't win them all. Free keys. Free keys for days. Oh, God. Yeah, I may as well pop it. Let's see what's in here. May as well stuff is so easy that it's all worth my time. Yeah, flies flies are really good. The reason flies don't sometimes spawn, like, you actually do have a 100% chance to spawn flies as Guppy, but apparently it has to do with how many um, things there are in the room, and if there are 30, then the chance to spawn a fly is like one-sixth or something. Same, uh, it's the mechanics guy again. Chira on the subreddit, but I think that was how he said it worked. And familiars do also spawn the flies, familiar tears. And uh, that's that's a bit of your inner workings of the Binding of Isaac lesson for the day. Caves 2, not too difficult. This should be pretty quick, I'm gonna imagine. Almost have 15 cents so we can go to the shop if we uh, we so choose. Have enough keys, that's that's a thing. Haven't found the item room yet, I may as well just fight here. It's the Fallen, the Fallen will give us a deal with the Devil item. Or possibly an Angel Room item, I'm not totally sure if he can do that. I assume it's tied to which room you got. Mom's Knife, I'm assuming I can't take that. Alright, I guess we're stuck with the Bible. Well, <laughs> that sucks. Uh, yeah, I can take Angel Room. So, yeah, I'm not taking Mom's Knife because... Yeah, I'm assuming that that is included, and that makes me very sad because Mom's Knife is amazing, but I think it might have actually been harder to use with our huge head. Flim Flam. 
hoping one of these poops drops a uh, coin, but then again, uh, one of the chests is like guaranteed to drop a coin. Yeah. Came out ahead on that. Let's see what's in the shop first. Um, I mean, I have to take and keep the first spacebar item I see, but I'm just going to buy it and use it once, and then take the Bible back. So we got an extra soul heart for seven cents, but uh, mini mush, absolutely no chance. That speed and range up, I don't want those things. So the Bible, uh, like almost legitimately useless, but I, I mean there is one use. Two uses. Oh, this is so sad. Anyway, uh, we do get to one shot mom just by using it. We just use it and she dies. And same with mom's heart. Normally it would grant us flight, but we already have flight, so that's uh, pretty inconsequential. One of these is tears up. Where you range up. Great. The advantage of being Kane is just pills are not bad. They can be neutral. Just a key for that. Come on, man. But means we can keep popping stuff. Chance to go to the shop. Oh, we found the shop. Look at that. I'm, I have a big, big head. Probably gonna be greed. No, it's not. And we get the map. Treasure map, of course, will show us the layout of the floor and the location of the secret room without showing us what any of the rooms are. Won't show us the location of the top secret room, but uh, it's very, very good. Definitely an excellent pickup. Uh, I used to, for a little while, say it's not that great. And in some ways it's not, but recently I've been shown by myself that my aptitude for correctly selecting the location of a boss room based on the map is quite high. So I've turned my opinion around. Tons more money. And that means tons more bombs because the burnt penny is a 50% chance anytime you pick up a coin that you get a bomb drop as well. And uh, Monster 2 going to be super duper easy. Literally amazing. Oh, why you do that? Why you give me a deal with the devil? We get another health up get out of the deal with the devil. Of course, I'd love to have taken Guppy's paw and gone completely soul heart right there. But, I can't take deals with the devil. If I go into a cursed room and happen to find Guppy's paw there, I would take it, use it, and then leave it. Because, of course, I have to stick with the Bible for the whole game. If I use the Bible against uh, any of the bosses after Mom, Mom's heart, rather. So if I use it on Isaac or Blue Baby, I will die instantly. Ooh, this is really good. Halo Flies gives us two flies rotating around us that will block enemy tiers as well as damage fly type enemies. Compass, oh my god. So the compass is uh, basically the completion, the soulmate of our map. So now we know uh, where every room is and what every room is. So if there's a room that has an icon, the uh, compass shows us that icon. And that's really, really good especially in conjunction with the treasure map because that just means we have the whole map from the start. Forgot I had poison touch because I haven't really run into stuff. Uh, there was totally a fortune teller machine somewhere. Oh my god, we got fate. That's so uncommon. Fate is flight and an eternal heart. Of course we already had flight, but geez, this is an incredible run. Like, I think this would have been going really well even without um, I'm just going to touch it to get it out of the pool. Would have gone really well even without, like, the challenge run. Jesus Juice gives us 1.5 times damage. Fate gives us an extra health. We've gotten a ton of health upgrades. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play this a bunch of times because I'll win every time. Or not, because it'll just blow up right away. And that's cool, too. And then we'll go to the next floor, get another health up from the Eternal Heart, and peace out. Yeah, I mean... If there's any way to say we're set, we're... I mean, I think we've set it. And now we have the full map, thanks to the map and the compass. Not worried about any enemies or bosses, really. Uh, this is the Depths 2. So, uh, once I get to the boss, I need to remember to use... My little unicorn, I touched it! You do need to use it. I'm, I'm so salty now. Um... What was I saying? I lost my train of thought when my little unicorn showed up again. Them, 
I mean, it could have been last run, like last video, but I'm pretty sure that was this video. Though then again, though then again, you heard me. The Empress uh, increases our damage and speed for a room. But what I was saying is, oh god. Uh, there's, I, I do a lot of runs, and I could get them confused. That's totally potential. Uh, I am just going to touch Kamikaze. I'm not going to use it, even though I might have to. Get the Tinted Rock. Just but one Soul Heart, but you know what? I'm happy with any Soul Hearts. Uh, we'll make a visit to the shop, and then we'll uh, beeline to the boss. Can skip those extra rooms. Uh, masks and hearts? Hearts would be easy. Don't even have to deal with the masks because I'm so fast. Let's see what's in here. I don't want to. I need to start saving my keys. Bee liquors should be pretty simple. Oh, poison touched him. Oops. Stuck in the wall, like I said, that's a thing that happens. Keys, excellent. So let's see if we fight greed. No. And we get the coin purse, that's really good with Kane. So I'm going to use that. Uh, balls of steel, that's two more soul hearts. Range up, won't really affect us at all. And then tears up, might not affect us anymore. Oops, I didn't mean to... Wait, I could buy that red heart? What? Let's see what this tarot card is. Death. Eh, whatever. I'm just going to stick with the Empress and not use it, probably. Anyway, uh, I should have had full health there. I don't know why I was allowed to buy that red heart. I guess it was because I was holding up the tarot card, and I, I don't know. <sighs> whatever. I forgot what I was going to say other than that. But we're just going to head right to the boss instead of exploring those extra two rooms. Because, I mean, really, I'm pretty sad. Bunches of soul hearts, bunches of damage, bunches, bunches of normal health, enough keys for the chest, which means uh, unless I get lucky and get a bunch more keys or uh, a golden key or something, I will not be opening more chests and stuff. We already got fate, though. That's pretty crazy. Well, there's a key. Bomb. No extra bomb there. Chubbers. Not too worrisome. Crazy flies here. Oh, that was stupid of me. I knew it was going to happen. I, I saw it coming, and I was just like, well, too late now. And then I resigned to my fate. Cried and cried in bed for a few hours. Don't worry, I live in like a different kind of temporal area than you guys do. Uh, you know, I'll take the curved horn for the boss fight. Even though I don't need it because I'm just going to use the Bible and win. And then we get meat. Uh, yeah, so meat is health up and damage up. And now we have 12 red hearts and then however many soul hearts. And we have the Polaroid now so we can go be Blue Baby. Know exactly where to go to get to the boss because of our uh, map compass combination. Really can't overstate how great that is. As long as you don't get Curse of Darkness. I'll take this. Use it. Get rid of it. Uh, so we're just going to go to the boss, then we're going to go to the boss on the next floor, and how did the door open? Did I just go fast enough that I went through the door? Because that, that's what I'm thinking happened. It's totally a possibility. Let's try it. It didn't work. I really, I don't know what exploded. But, you know, the experiment was worth the loss of... Maybe using Dad's key there had it carry over for some reason due to the fact that there were no doors that it opened that time. I really, I have no clue whatsoever. Soul hard from that. We're getting so lucky with those in this run. The red chests. Okay, we got that. And we're almost at the boss. And then Mom's heart will die from one hit of the, from one use of the Bible. Fighting the bloat? I'm not even mad. I mean, look at this. Look how hard we just tanked the bloat right there. And we get another health up, but that's actually worthless at this point. Go in here, see what we're missing, another mom's knife. Spirit of the Night isn't worth much though, so it's okay. Um, the health up isn't worth anything because once you have 12 red hearts, even though you can get health ups, you can't get more health. 
you can't get more red health. What I'm saying is, I have 12 red hearts right now, but, well, 12 red hearts that I can fill to take damage. But, if you were to look at my health stat, it would be 13. Well, this doesn't matter, so I'll take it. Uh, anyway, you look at my health stat, it'd be 13. And if I went to a deal with the devil and took a deal for two hearts, I would only lose one that you can see. But I couldn't fill that extra red heart with, with health. I hope that made sense. So it's something that I can trade, but I can't make use of it. Anyway, we just got the Ankh, and what the Ankh will do is respawn us as blue baby should we die. I really don't see us dying, like, in any circumstance. So, uh, I wouldn't count on that, but if we do, we actually still have a chance of success somewhat. Got tears up, which probably is still worthless. The eternal heart is going to be worthless as well, because that's just going to be a second trade-only heart. We get here some more money and stuff. And we'll use the Bible. Win that fight. Go into the cathedral. Wow, that's the closest boss I've ever seen. I actually expected this to be a room that didn't have any enemies in it, and then I would have been like completely amazed. But that's definitely the luckiest I've been finding bosses on late floors in my career in this game. So we're just going to go slaughter Isaac now. We'll take some damage, I'm sure, but we have a lot of health, and we're doing enough damage that I could easily just sit still and tank him. Because the flies do huge damage, I do huge damage. And if I use the Empress, I'd do even more huge damage. But the Halo of Flies is doing a great job protecting us. And uh, now he's dead, we'll kill the angelic babies and go into the chest. This run is actually, uh, I was about to say it has taken longer than I expected, but... Oops! <laughs> well, now we have Polyphemus, which actually kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, so, uh, whatever. Now we'll just do huge damage. I didn't mean to pick it up. I actually probably would have passed. Range up, doesn't really matter. But yeah, now we won't spawn as many flies because we won't be hitting with as many tears. But we do do huge damage. Haha, -ha, I said doo-doo. Yeah, we, we do amazing damage. And that means our flies do amazing damage. So I guess the trade is kind of worth it. Because, I mean, if you think about what one of our flies can do based on our damage and, like, the, the stats that Polyphemus changes it to, we're set. I'm not even, not even a little bit worried. I mean, not that I should have been worried anyway, because my situation before was incredible. Amazing that we didn't get any uh, chest drops, because um, Guppy's tail increases the rate of chest drops. But, I mean, wow, look at this. I'm just not even touching the keyboard on my left hand. Yeah, that w and that was, uh, that was really easy. That was that. I wish my flies did that much damage every time, but of course I could get them to do more damage. Not, we're not going to get into that. Uh, yeah, so that... I hope you guys enjoyed that. I sure did. That was Speed Cat. Uh, remember to leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments. And, you know, I'll do the ones I like the most. I think that's all I got, so thank you guys for watching.